Hi, this is Justice Brian Japani. I'm going to be talking in this video about NanoPixel. The NanoPixel technology is really cool. I've got a, a piece I've worked on. It's kind of a, a texture showcase. And so we're going to jump into that and I'm going to show you kind of the ins and outs of what you can do with this new technology. It's pretty awesome. Blew my mind the first time I saw it and still is incredible to me. Still is really amazing how significant this improvement, the nano pixel technology is. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to the software. So here you can see uh, we're in a canvas and this canvas size is uh, 12 by nine inches. That's it. It's not gigantic. It's a relatively small canvas and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to zoom in with nano pixel turned off. So let's press the keyboard shortcut here and turn this off. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to zoom in. And you can see the pixels here as I zoom in. This is what we expect. This is typical. Now, this is the standard limitation of using a roster drawing program. This is what happens across the board everywhere. So let's go ahead. We're going to turn nano pixel on. And this is printable. So this, this canvas that I have right here, when I zoom out, you can see all of this beautiful texture. And when I zoom in, that texture still looks good. I can go in here and zoom way, way, way in. And when I zoom in like this, if we were to print this, it would look fantastic. It would look so good. It does not look like art that's created on a computer. And I love this. I love it. So let's go over here. We're going to look at the nano pixel export. We can do 12 by nine, which is the current size of the canvas, 24 by 18, 36 by 27, or 48 by 36 inches and export it into an image that looks beautiful printed out. All right, let's go ahead and save this. Yes. So here you can see the canvas that I just printed out. This is at the 4x export setting. So the size is 14,400 by 10,800. And it's 144 DPI, 32 bit. So this looks fantastic. I love how this looks. So if I zoom in here, we don't get to uh, those really yucky roster pixels that look terrible. So this has translated beautifully. All of these lovely textures are showing up exactly how I want them to. And this is fantastic. It makes me so happy. Look at that. Beautiful textures, beautiful colors. Okay, so with NanoPixel turned on, we're going to go and change the canvas. So here I have some of the really cool high resolution scans. Now these are multicolored papers. I'll go into more detail on this in another video. But when we zoom in here, look at the level of detail. These are amazing. Now this, well, I'll talk about these more in another video, but let's go ahead and open up another one. The textures in these papers actually affect how the paint moves on the canvas. So you can see lots of color here. extremely high resolution scans here for the canvases. So when you guys are using NanoPixel, it won't print all of that detail. We don't want that, but it does export uh, the level of detail that you want. So it works really nicely. So here, let's look at this same canvas, but with NanoPixel turned off and you can see there's a really big difference here. 
You can adjust paper texture more or less and paint texture and we'll go into detail on that in another video. So you can also import old images. I have a picture, a small picture of me and my little baby girl and this is a, let's see, a four by five inch picture. So with this, I can turn down the paint texture. And if I zoom in here, I'm a little baby girl. You can see it's using some advanced AI in order to make some predictions on where those different shapes are. And this is not pixelated here. So if I wanted to print this out, share it with family or friends, this will print and look great. So you can do that with old files from Rebel 3 or Rebel 4 or from other programs. Pull it in, turn NanoPixel on, and have fun. All right, you guys, that's it for NanoPixel. If you guys have questions, put it in the comment section. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, do that right now and make sure that you stay informed on your favorite painting program.